Okay guys, it's about, uh, I don't know, 3 o'clock, something like that, in the afternoon here on Friday, the 9th day of February. I guess this is our second full day in the bush. It's uh, It's been quite a challenge, I'll, I'll admit it. Um, yesterday it got up to about uh, 110 degrees. Uh, we had been up, I'd, I'd had like three hours of sleep the first night and about that much the second night uh, it uh, our, our day yesterday we got here after making about a two hour long uh, trip into the bush that you know I'm from Africa man but I'm telling you man we we just kept going on and on and on until there was just like no road uh, you just had this like look like just much not much bigger than just a, a, a motorcycle path um, and uh, just kept going and uh, man all I could think of was man if something happens out here you are just out of luck baby because ain't nobody coming to get you it, but I mean she does have a cell phone and I mean there is you know uh, you know you're not gonna just die immediately I guess but uh, if you got bit by a snake or something, there's no hospital to take you to. There's no anti-venom in this whole country. And there's only two flights out of Niger a week. So basically, you just, seems to me, you just die. And, you know, you, you, you just kind of think, man, you know, people who can live out in a place like this, that's pretty tough. It's, it's not like this at all where I'm from in Kenya. You know, it's... Uh, it's nice and cool. It's about 70 degrees all year round. You get somewhat this hot if you're down on the coast of Mombasa, but not like this at all. So we got into the the bush yesterday and uh, uh, to do our first kind of uh, village. The biggest thing that was kind of sad about it is we were, you know, one of the main things we're doing is I'm over here with doctors and they were going to do inoculations and unfortunately they didn't have any uh, dawa, any kind of uh, medicine at all so um, you know they were people were very disappointed in that um, in fact they'd had you know the first village that we went to they had had a, a 10 year old boy die and they had another one that uh, that little baby that they thought was going to die and didn't look very good today so I know when they say an African looks pale <laughs> that's not good so we um, you know we went out yesterday and uh, uh, did some Bible storying. I've been kind of focusing on three stories. I do the Genesis story about Adam and Eve, and I do uh, the story of Daniel, you know, in the lion's den, and then I tell a story from Prophet Isa, who's but uh, the Muslims call Jesus. I do uh, a uh, the prodigal son, all kind of focusing on, you know, man has got them things that we do that aren't good, and uh, that's why what happened to... Um, you know, Adam and Eve, they did bad things and they, they were sent out. And then, uh, you know, I talk about Daniel, how sometimes bad people can do things to you, even though all you were doing was praying, you get in trouble. And then on the prodigal son, I'm talking about, you know, we, uh, we can make bad decisions, but the, the guiding focus of all of this stuff is how God protects us and God loves us. And that Isa loves them too, and that's why we're here. And that preaches more than just about anything, I think. Um, we... Uh, so we had um, uh, got back from the bush at about two o'clock, I guess. We had kind of some crackers and cheese, man. And I laid down on my mattress, and the thing was just radiating heat. I mean, it was like heat from above, heat from underneath the uh, the mattress, you know, because it had been out in the sun. Today I put my stuff all in the shade in a in the uh, hut, and actually I slept on another foam pad because one of one of the four of our team is sick she's had diarrhea and vomiting and not well so you know i kind of used her mat today uh, but uh, it was so hot i started getting lightheaded and, and thought i was going to pass out and was thinking man what am i doing man i ain't cut out for this stuff even though i may be growing up in africa i don't think i'm tough enough for this i went in the thing it you know took a cold bath i mean they, we use a shower you just kind of squat down by this hole in the floor and and you uh, dip water out of this uh, other thing and, and uh, uh, just kind of pour it on your head. So a uh, very intense experience. Like I said, it was uh, almost frightening to me, to be honest with you. I uh, just, you know, you, you know it's hot. 
I bet there's just no relief from it. I mean, it's hot during the summer in Georgia. I mean, I'm out in the heat a lot, but I mean, when you think a week ago we were dealing with like 19 degrees, and then you come over here and it's like 110 in the shade, and the wind that's blowing across, you looks like it could dry turkey. It was something, man. So uh, it was a very uncomfortable. I couldn't really sleep. Felt like I was going to pass out. Uh, but we had a really good time uh, when we went to the village last night. And we'd go into all these different villages. We ride in this Toyota truck. I guess you can see that. And uh, we were leaving today. And uh, we ride in the truck and uh, for usually about 15, 20 minutes, something like that. And um, it was a it was a good trip. It, and uh, I got to start taking some pictures, and you know I have my Canon uh, little power shot, that six millimeter that I use, and uh, a 